Alright, this is next. Tack Visor. $14.88 here at Walmart. As seen on TV. Alright, so now we are going to look at this Tack Visor by Bell & Howell. We're going to do a quick unboxing and just see exactly what we have. Um, there's nothing else in the box. I have the actual visor itself inside of a plastic bag. It's taped over here, so let's pull that out. All right, so just looking at it, we got some directions. Oh, it's got the little lens here to see if you're, this is polarized, that's the way they show it to you. Um, so it's a pretty simple design. They have this clip, which is a little different than on the As Seen on TV commercial. That like cinched around. This one goes over top and slides on, so that's interesting. It is covered with protective wrap on all sides. That's kind of a good feature. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this taken apart, pull off all the plastic wraps, and go install it in the car and check it out. All right, so here I am in the car with the tack visor, and I'm supposed to hook it on to my visor here. You notice right away that the tack visor is about three quarters of the length of my regular visor. My regular visor down covers a good area where this won't even color, cover the whole distance. And that to me is a bit alarming. I don't know why it wasn't bigger. But you're, you're supposed to clip it from behind and slide it down. And yes, in my vehicle it covers the mirror, this clip does. Um, but here's what it looks like installed. I haven't yet taken off the protective film but you sort of get the idea um, when I'm looking through it I have a space here I have spaces here so it's kind of strange I, I think that's like a design flaw and if it was bigger it might be better but I think right now that to me will be interesting just to look through as I drive I'm going to take the film off here and also the one for the nighttime and then I'll do a test here on the road but that's my first view of it installed in the car it's a little small Okay, so here we are on a road test with the tack visor day lens installed. You can see where it is here, and if I'm driving, I pull it up, that's without the lens, and I come down and that's with the lens. But let's just see how it does as we drive. I know you can sort of see here where there's reflections. Um, that to me is a little bit annoying. Um, other people you might not find that annoying. I don't know. I do. I also notice every time I touch it, it has a fingerprint that comes on there. Um, so it gets smudgy. So I guess this is something you'll have to clean frequently. Um, but this is what it looks like daytime driving with the tack visor on and off. It does tint. I mean, that looks nice. But like I said before, it's not very wide. So if I look over here, it's not covered. I look over there, it's not covered. It's just right here in front of me. Um, it's just something I guess would be a personal preference. I don't necessarily care for it because I feel like I have to look through this square or rectangle. And that to me is weird. Um, but this is just a daytime drive. Okay, so I was thinking. I'm six foot four, so having the visor up here where this is is a good height for me, but I know some people it may not be a good height for. So if you take off the visor altogether, drop down this visor, and then hook it on here, this might go low enough where someone who's a little shorter can now utilize the visor and it'll actually come out down here on their level. Just a thought, if this is something you're looking into utilizing and you might need it to go down a little lower. I can still raise and lower this no problem and even utilizing the yellow one for the nighttime works as well if you put it on backwards if you happen to be a little shorter. Just a thought. I just wanted to see what it would look like to have the nighttime visor down and to be honest with you, I actually like it. It makes everything so bright and vibrant. But this is what it looks like to have just the nighttime visor down, and then there's without the visor altogether. Okay, so now we're going to try this out at night. And you can see down the driveway there, 
um, is a car at the other end with the lights on. And this was without any visor here. Now, now we're going to bring down the nighttime visor and see if there's a difference. Nighttime visor. No visor. Nighttime visor. No visor. Can you see any difference? To me it looks the same. It's obnoxious. That is the high beams on, so I'm going to go and have them switch to the low beams, and we'll see if there's a difference that way. Now we are looking at the low beams without the visor, and now with the visor. To me it looks very, very similar. This one just makes everything look yellow. I don't see the benefit in the nighttime visor. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You, and I'm going to finish up my review on the Bell & Howell TAC Visor. I've been driving around with this in my car for the past week or so, and I've come to the um, realization, actually it was really quick in the driving, um, that I would not really utilize this product. I find that my visor in my car um, does a whole lot better for me blocking the sunlight in the morning or if it's in the evening hours and there's high beams coming towards me, I found that my my own personal visor in the car does a lot better. Now, if Bell and Howell wanted to go back to the drawing board and maybe make their unit a little longer and maybe even deeper so you're not staring through this very small rectangle, I could see some benefit to it. But as is right now, it is just too small. And as you can see from my video, I can see all the way around the visor, which was really distracting. Um, also, it's really reflective, so I can see myself for the most part during the entire drive, and I thought, found that to be kind of annoying too. Um, it smudged a lot, that, and I found myself just cleaning it and wiping it off frequently, and then it was difficult to see out of those spots. Um, I did like the yellow visor. I liked it actually more in the daytime than I did in the nighttime, but that's just me. They don't recommend you doing that, but here's the yellow visor. They don't recommend you riding with that in the in the daytime, but I thought it made everything vibrant, um, and the, that's my review. Just something I wouldn't utilize myself unless it was redesigned um, to make it more user-friendly. Hey, if you like this video, please click the like button below. Also, make a comment. Have you used this tack visor and maybe had a different opinion on it or the same? Just let me know. Also, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be putting out one or two videos a week on As Seen on TV products, um, customer gadgets, household items, and that kind of a thing. If you have a recommendation, also put that in the comment section. And don't forget to click the bell so you are notified when my next video come out. This was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. Thanks for viewing and have a great day.